Hello everybody and welcome to Callaworth College Art and Design. My name is Charlie Winterton and I'm, I'm the course leader for A-Level Illustration and Graphics and A-Level Fine Art. There are many reasons why you would want to study A-Level Art and Design at Callaworth College. You will be supported along your journey with subject specialists who will guide and support you through your two year time at Caliwith, during which time you will gain a huge amount of uh, knowledge and understanding of art and design practice, the creative industry, art history, and how to build practical and technical skills using a broad range of materials, techniques and processes in our industry standard studios. You will also gain a wide range of transferable skills that will enable you to think creatively and innovatively and enable you to really explore your ideas creatively. Things like visual, verbal and written communication skills, practical and theoretical problem solving, and also the ability to think analytically and critically when looking at contextual sources and your own work. You will also be working towards the next stage after your time at Callaworth College and that could be future progression into a foundation art and design course or going straight to study a BA honours degree in your chosen subject. Ultimately, that can then lead to a potential career in the creative industry, which is a, an exciting and thriving field that contributes a huge amount of money to the UK economy each year and the creative industry is growing more than five times faster than the national economy so it's a really interesting and exciting field to work within i'm going to start by talking about a level fine art So during your first year studying fine art, you will explore a number of different areas that will help to build those key technical skills that will set you up for year two. So the workshop and skills development phase starts with measured drawing and learning how to draw accurately and using a, a wide range of different media to, to draw with and record uh, from direct observation. You then explore mark making and how to apply different marks to develop your drawings further. This leads into tone and tonal drawing and looking at how light can affect objects and also how you can then translate that and show light and shadow through your drawings. Exploring ink and mixed media as well to see how wet media can uh, affect your visual language. Leading into color theory and application and using different paint in order to uh, develop ideas and your project further. You will then be working on a personal project and realizing that project uh, through experimentation and refinement of your own ideas and ultimately working to create a final outcome. And that's throughout year one Year two is much more independent and it's divided into two components. The first 
is called the personal investigation. This is worth 60% of the total marks. And that is where you get to write your own project proposal and explore your own ideas that are personal and meaningful to you. And we've had some really amazing projects created here at Caliwith by some amazingly talented students. And I'm going to show you some of those outcomes shortly. Component two is the externally set assignment. That's then worth the remaining 40% of total marks. That is uh, where the awarding body set uh, the exam paper where you get to choose from 12 stimuli to base your project on one of those that you then create another body of work, ultimately leading to a 15 hour exam. So where can studying fine art here at Caliwith help you to progress to? Some of the things that students have gone on to do, as I mentioned, foundation in art and design, but also looking at BA honours degrees, could be fine art, fine art painting, fine art sculpture, and so on. Students predominantly work in sketchbooks to record ideas and also to develop work. As you can see in these images, there is a combination of drawing by the students, but also contextual research as well and looking at artists and designers in order to inform ideas and visual language and to learn new techniques through studying their artwork and responding to their artwork practically looking at some of the more traditional artists but also building that historical knowledge from the more traditional artists and well known through to the more contemporary artists. You will also see that there's, uh, in addition to the practical work, there is uh, a lot of documentation in terms of how work develops through the use of thumbnail sketches and also photography as well to document the process of making. And that can then be used to help to better understand why you are making images and what your images mean and how you can develop those further through the use of reflective recording and you will see on all of those images within the sketchbooks students writing notes in order to essentially make their work more effective better in terms of visual communication So exploring different materials, tools, techniques, processes, and recording ideas, intentions, and the challenges faced through the making of artwork. We're moving on to final outcomes and some of the amazing paintings that students have been creating with us here at Caliwith, from uh, paintings using acrylic and focusing on portraits through to students exploring interesting themes such as humanity and looking at our role in terms of, in this case, the meat industry. looking at different formats and painting on different surfaces. Here we have a beautiful landscape really responding to the Cornish coastline 
and also the, the, the power of weather. Beautiful portrait, figures in an interior and using different paint application and working on different surfaces, as mentioned from paper to canvas to wood and beyond. This is a large scale portrait. Exploring different themes and themes that are important to students, looking at the human impact on the environment and specifically sea pollution and single use plastic and creating textural surfaces and applying mixed media processes to create engaging pieces of art. Students combining their other studies and looking at the idea of psychology and dreams and trying to really uh, build on all of the knowledge and uh, skills that they're gaining in, in other subject areas and consolidating all of that information. Here are two large scale paintings that were created during the 15 hour exam and these are absolutely huge and it was amazing to be able to work at that scale and to produce these really engaging paintings uh, in response to the theme of spin. So now we're moving on to illustration and graphics. So a change in subject and looking at the key differences between fine art and illustration and graphics. The key difference being that with fine art, it tends to be more traditional in terms of drawing and painting, but it isn't limited to that. Students have explored 3D outcomes and installations and sculptural forms as well. With illustration and graphics, it's working more within the commercial uh, area of art and design. So often working to a brief and also thinking about the commercial output and working to specific uh, audience. So both illustration and graphics and the fine art A-level are with the same awarding body so that the way the first year and second year run are exactly the same. With illustration and graphics in year one during the workshop and skills development phase, you will explore experimental drawing and illustration looking at sequential narrative, exploring creative typography, editorial design, zine design, branding and packaging design. And in the same way with fine art, year two is very much focusing on independent learning and it's broken down into the two component parts, personal investigation, which is where students write their own design brief and explore their own ideas that are personal and meaningful to them. And component two is responding to a set theme and creating a body of work. And once again, 
working towards creating outcomes in the <clears throat> final exam. Students go on to study either foundation in art and design or BA honours degrees in illustration, graphic design, graphic communication, animation, concept art and games design, photography, architecture, product design, fashion branding and marketing, drawing and also film and many more. Again, students work in sketchbooks to document the creative process using a wide range of methods uh, to generate ideas such as mind maps, also in the same way as we do in fine art. It's also using research to look at illustrators, graphic designers, to help to support ideas and inform visual language and to understand the context of illustration and graphic design. Recording ideas and the development of those ideas using thumbnail sketches and also with illustration and graphics Although the computer is an amazing tool and can be used, it's not just done on the computer. Uh, it's using a wide range of materials, techniques and processes from the more traditional drawing and painting and printmaking methods through to the more uh, digital media using Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, in order to develop ideas further. So documenting contextual research, looking at artists and designers from across the creative industry, analyzing their artwork to understand how an image is made and how visual language is used to communicate and then developing ideas through continuous refinement and once again using reflective practice. So analyzing the work of artists and designers, but also students work in order to develop ideas further. This was a student that created a sustainable surf brand called ADAPT. This is from the lookbook that was created as part of that project. In addition to the lookbook, you have an infographic, which is communicating information about human impact on the environment. And also you have branding guidelines, how to use the logo and colors and imagery for that particular brand. Looking at editorial design and how to use word and image to engage with an audience. Sequential narrative, so could be comic book design. artwork for a festival based on the theme of colour, creating poster design and also merchandising to go along with that festival. Characters from a stop motion animation. Beautiful mark making and 3D outcomes. graphic design and in this case packaging and how to use logos and how to communicate with your intended audience. Poster design to promote an event or organization. 
poster designed to communicate information and to raise awareness and to uh, generate interest and to help support charitable organizations. Packaging. And students create design sheets as part of portfolios where they culminate all of their research and creative making and reflective recording in order to present to uh, universities. So I hope I've answered some of your questions and shown you some of the amazing artwork that students have created here at Caliwith. And look forward to seeing you here soon.